A very warm welcome to the celebration of Mass this weekend. We're celebrating the 18th Sunday of the year, but as you can see, I'm hoping we can have the best of all worlds because the 1st of August is the feast, the solemnity for us as Redemptress of St. Alphonsus Liguri, our founder. So I'm going to, obviously, we have the Sunday uh, liturgy, but we're going to give Alphonsus, dare I say, a good run for his money because I think, uh, obviously, as a Redemptorist, I would want to honour his memory and beg his prayers today for myself and for you. So I'm going to begin with a, a great hymn to St. Alphonsus, which I'm, a, I'm afraid you won't find in the hymn books. Um, some of you may just recognise it and be able to join in the chorus and so on. So I'll sing a couple of verses at the beginning and a couple of verses later. And then, uh, where's Freddie Freckles coming from today? Well, you may remember that last Sunday I suggested that you listen to the gospel and you imagine yourself that perhaps Freddie Freckles as the little boy who appears in the gospel. And I invited the children to listen to the gospel with that in mind, to see themselves, whether they're little boys or little girls, as the little boy who had the five loaves and the two fish. And he was generous enough uh, to say he was willing to share and everything that led from that. And the gospel uh, continues with this Eucharistic theme today. St. John making sure that we get the link between what happened with the feeding of the 5,000 and what we're celebrating here today. So that couldn't be more fitting uh, for St. Alphonsus, who had this tremendous devotion to our blessed Lord in the Eucharist, in the Blessed Sacrament. So we'll say a little word about that, but the Masses through August are going to be fairly straightforward and fairly simple. Um, the first reading today from the Old Testament, reminding us of how God gave the people bread from heaven, the manna, uh, we'll leave that out. Just remember that, again, it was a foretaste of what was to come with the Eucharist. And we'll go straight to the second reading from St. Paul, telling us to get our new selves. And again, that couldn't be more fitting than for St. Alphonsus. So let's have a couple of verses of this hymn. Holy Spirit, fount of wisdom, light of doctors, thee we praise. In our saint thy gifts we worship, while our voices thus we raise. Hail Alphonsus, glorious doctor of the holy church of God. Teach our minds and guide our footsteps in the path which thou hast trod. Child of Mary, dauntless herald, of thy heavenly mother's name, her immaculate conception, full of faith thou didst proclaim. Hail, Alphonsus, glorious doctor of the holy church of God. Teach our minds and guide our footsteps in the path which thou hast trod. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. Let's pray that the Lord will make us worthy to celebrate the great gift of himself in the Eucharist. Lord, we ask you to heal the hurt of sin in our lives and to strengthen us with the gifts of your Holy Spirit as we pray. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, 
You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deo. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. We beg the prayers of the Redemptorist founder, St. Alphonsus Liguri, and make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. I want to urge you in the name of the Lord not to go on living the aimless kind of life that pagans live. Now, that is hardly the way you have learnt from Christ, unless you fail to hear him properly when you were taught what the truth is in Jesus. You must give up your old way of life. You must put aside your old self, which gets corrupted by following illusory desires. Your mind must be renewed by a spiritual revolution so that you can put on the new self that has been created in God's way in the goodness and holiness of the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. The things we have heard and understood, the things our fathers have told us, we will tell to the next generation the glories of the Lord and his might. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. He commanded the clouds above and opened the gates of heaven. He rained down manna for their food and gave them bread from heaven. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Mere men ate the bread of angels. He sent them abundance of food. He brought them to his holy land, to the mountain which his right hand had won. The Lord gave them bread from heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. When the people saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they got into boats and crossed to Capernaum to look for Jesus. When they found him on the other side, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, you are not looking for me because you have seen the signs, but because you had all the bread you wanted to eat. Do not work for food that cannot last, but work for food that endures to eternal life. The kind of food the Son of Man is offering you, for on him the Father, God himself, has set his seal. Then they said to him, what must we do if we are to do the works that God wants? Jesus gave them this answer. This is working for God. You must believe in the one he has sent. So they said, what sign will you give to show us that we should believe in you? What work will you do? Our fathers had manna to eat in the desert. As scripture says, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus answered, I tell you most solemnly, it was not Moses who gave you bread from heaven. It is my Father who gives you the bread from heaven, the true bread. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, give us that bread always. Jesus answered, 
I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we couldn't have asked for a more fitting gospel for the Feast of St. Alphonsus. And I'm wearing this special redemptorist vestment. It's got a little bit of green on it as well to remind us it's Sunday. But St. Alphonsus grasped this message and he had this extraordinary devotion to the gift of Jesus in the Eucharist. And during this last week, over and over again, ten times I celebrated First Communion Masses with our children. I want you today just to join me in praying that not only they but their families and you yourselves will deepen your understanding of what it is that the Lord is offering us. We can never fully understand, but we see how John develops his gospel, the feeding of the 5,000 last week, the generosity of the little boy, the call that we do look after one another and feed one another, but then the discovery, the crucial discovery of something much greater and much more important, which gives meaning to every aspect of our lives. As we struggle to understand, we begin more and more to realize that God is living within us. And this is the ultimate sign of his coming and of his staying with us. So today, I pray for all of you joining me in this Mass, for all those children, 107 of them, who have already made their first communion in our two parishes during this past week. We pray that in spite of all the problems that have been surrounding us, that we will treasure this gift. And even when we can't actually receive it, we remember what St. Alphonsus recommended to everybody. When you cannot actually receive the Lord, then go within yourselves spiritually and ask for the graces that he gives us in Holy Communion. With that in mind, let's make our act of faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray with the whole church, begging God's blessing on Pope Francis and Archbishop Malcolm, on all those who serve the church. Lord, unite us in your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray as we struggle with this coronavirus across the world. Lord, help us to find ways of caring for each other, of solving the problem of the illnesses that come with this virus, and of being able to live more freely in our world again. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for those who have a special claim on our prayers. We pray too for the great events that are going on. There are lots of important sporting events, not least the Olympic Games. We ask God to bless those who give us such joy as we rejoice in their gifts and their talents. And we pray that sport may indeed unite the world rather than divide it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I'd ask you to remember, as we continue to do, those who have asked our prayers and who are sick. So I commend you again, Margaret Williams, our own Father Martin Gay, who continues to struggle in the hospice. We remember Dawn, the godmother to Hiker's children. We remember those who've asked for special intentions, but asked us not to mention names. We remember Bernard Fitzsimons, a former Grand Knight, who is very ill at the moment. He has his son, Canon Michael Fitzsimons. We remember little Luca, who had that serious operation last Monday and for whom we've been praying at all our First Communion Masses. We pray for Mary Mere and all those who are undergoing cancer treatment at the moment. Could you remember those whose anniversaries occur around now? 
birthday anniversaries of Mary Mayer on the 4th of August and Margaret Lyons on the 7th. And we pray for those whose funerals are this week, Francis John Powell on Monday and Anne Wignall on Wednesday. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. St. Alphonsus had a wonderful devotion to our Blessed Lady and wrote his wonderful book, The Glories of Mary. Let's ask the prayers of Mary, our Mother of Perpetual Succor. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, grant that what we have asked in faith we may indeed obtain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy these gifts, therefore, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross, for by your cross, for by your cross and resurrection, 
you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Malcolm, our Bishop, all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Alphonsus Liguri, St. Ignatius Loyola, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We prepare for Holy Communion in the best way we know, praying the words in, that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. And I'm sure at home you can offer each other a sign of Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Before I receive Holy Communion, let me join you at home, whether you've got something there to eat and drink or not. Um, we pray that the Lord will bless you, fill you with all the graces that come with the Eucharist. And here is Alphonsus's prayer. Converted for the children. Dear Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in Holy Communion. I love you and would love to receive you now, but since this is not possible, please come to me and fill me with all the blessings and graces I need to cope with everything that is going on. Unite us all and give us the peace which you promised only you can give. Amen. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
it's fitting to sing a verse of St. Alphonsus's great hymn, O Bread of Heaven. O bread of heaven beneath this veil, thou dost my very God conceal. My Jesus, dearest treasure, hail. I love thee and adoring you, each loving soul by thee is fed with thine own self in form of bread. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal, of eternal redemption. We beg the intercession of our founder, St. Alphonsus, as we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, there we are. Thank you very much for joining me, as always. There are a couple of notices. The SVP are continuing to try and reach out, and uh, of course they've been short of collections uh, really throughout these past months. They would like to take a collection after the Masses tomorrow on the Sunday. You know I record this on the Saturday, which is why I mentioned Ignatius Loyola, of course the founder of the Jesuits whose feast is today. He and Alphonsus uh, go in tandem as it were, the last day of July and the 1st of August. So there will be a collection after the Masses tomorrow. If you want to drop something in for the SVP, mark the envelope clearly and we'll make sure they get it. Um, I, I should have mentioned that uh, last weekend I sought permission uh, to put up the article uh, that I wrote in the tablet. The uh, editor graciously said, uh, sent me the whole of the tablet. So uh, that particular edition of a few weeks ago when my article was there, you can very easily link onto it through our websites in both parishes now. And thanks for Margie for making all that um, so easy. Um, just to let you know, uh, Father Andrew and I, of course, went to London um, last week uh, on, on the Wednesday night and Thursday. This week, I'm hoping to go to Birmingham uh, to see Father Gabby Maguire, whose birthday happens to be today, the 31st of July. He's, as you know, in Birmingham. And I'm also hoping to see Father Isaac, who I think has graciously agreed to come and cover for me, because I plan to go away uh, on Monday week for a couple of weeks and be back in time for the ordination of Father Michael Taylor. Um, so, and the other thing I hope to do is, is visit, visit um, Father Tony Hunt. Uh, Father Andrew and I are hoping to get across to the Wirral uh, and see him now in Nazareth House there. His birthday actually is on Tuesday, so we have a lot of birthdays at the moment. And I think Bev Hearn's birthday is, is around now too. Um, so, I leave all that with you. Um, I would also mention, I, I have mentioned it already, but in case you haven't heard it on my, on my mes message, um, sadly, from our point of view, as a parish here in Bishop Eaton, oh, when I mentioned the SVP, by the way, I was talking about the Bishop Eaton SVP, I'm, I'm not sure that there's going to be a collection at St. Mary's, but the uh, Bishop Eaton SVP, but also uh, here in Bishop Eaton, we're uh, losing our deacon, Greg, he's returning to Hungary with the family, um, that's understandable, of course, uh, his life and his uh, career and his future are very important, and it is one of the factors, obviously, um, when somebody is ordained a deacon, but please God, he can carry on his ministry uh, in Hungary. We will miss you, Greg, enormously. I want to thank you again for your terrific ministry since you were ordained, and I want to thank Elizabeth, your wife, for her wonderful contribution to the life of the parish, uh, helping in so many ways, but particularly with the journey in faith. And little Joanna, who's a great example of a young girl with uh, real faith. Um, and we wish you every happiness, all of you, the whole family. And also we pray for the members of your family who are struggling with health problems at the moment too. So there we are. I leave it all with you. I hope you have a good week. Um, and we'll be able to let you know what sort of timetable there will be for the fortnight that I'm away next weekend. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God. And I'll sing another verse or two 
of that hymn in honor of St. Alphonsus. As the brave and watchful shepherd from the wolf defends his fold, so didst thou assail and conquer every error new and old. Hail Alphonsus, glorious doctor of the holy church of God. Teach our minds and guide our footsteps in the path which thou hast trod. Holy Spirit, light of doctors, shed on us thy light divine. Pour those sevenfold gifts upon us, which in Saint Alphonsus shine. Hail Alphonsus, glorious doctor of the Holy Church of God. Here are, do you know, my mind's gone a blank. Isn't that extraordinary? When you take your, when you take your eye off the page, and I've sung that so often, so I'm determined to find it again and sing that chorus for you. Hail Alphonsus, glorious doctor of the Holy Church of God. Teach our minds and guide our footsteps in the path which thou hast trod. There we are. 